Hi, how are you? This is Nyla Legere. I just wanted to give you some notes from looking at Andrew Wyatt this week. I found a book on N.C. Wyatt, his father, and uh, he was an illustrator and he always wanted to be a painter. And I guess he never fully was accepted or made it in, in the art world, but he was a a good painter and um, being an illustrator he was very skilled and he taught his son Andrew Wyatt who is known as a, an American national treasure as a painter and uh, I guess some of the perspective is that his artwork changed after his father died abruptly at the age of in his 60s, I think. He was, he was really young. Um, and uh, he got uh, him and uh, his, uh, so N.C. Wyatt and his son, uh, his grandson who had the same um, moniker, died in a, they were hit by a train in their car. And uh, Andrew Wyatt's paintings are known to be really dark. But uh, in my mind's eye, they were, they were pretty dark before. Um, uh, uh, like um, thinking about a watercolor in particular that has a lot of darks in it. And this was before his, his father's death. But this uh, affected him deeply, apparently. I mean, as, of course it would. And um, a lot of the themes are about solitude and um, about um, a very stark uh, interiors and exteriors. So he talks about being an abstract expressionist where his um, he really likes to make those large spaces really abstract. But, I, I mean, there are some places that are very abstract, um, where you can see it's, it's just water that's been splashed or pooled together, but there are vast expanses of grass, um, or walls, which aren't, uh, you know, or trees, um, where it's not, um, it's not an really abstract. Um, that being said, it looks like there's a lot of sketches. A lot of things were made from life. Um, he had a model uh, named Helga, who has the same ancestral roots as, as him. Uh, she's blonde, um, European, and... Um, I think he's Swiss German and uh, anyways her uh, there's lots of portraits of her in, uh, in the movie he says uh, that uh, that models he was his lifetime like a long time model his model's husband comes and says well you can paint my wife but never nude he says by that time I already had done four of them <laughs> so there's um lots of new portraits he's a real master of shade and light and um uh um lighting effects and that sort of thing um and um makes large compositions where you know there's only one or two elements for example, there's one um, one room that he painted. Well, when he painted it, he didn't paint it as it is. He painted as he imagined it to be. He removed all of the, the elements that would have been in that room and made it bare. Um, and he's got um, like paintings of pumpkins, and he talks about. The, the fall being his favorite season 
uh, he talks about how you see the real reality of life you know the the leaves are gone and you see the bare bones and um, I guess he was he and his friends used to get costumed you know um like really sharp costumes and he would give them guided tours around town. Uh, he lived in uh, in Maine and also in another state it's escaping me right now. And uh, he also uses um, war as a theme. He used to play lots of um, games of war um, like little toy soldiers and things like that when he was a kid and he'd have bowls of them in front of his dad's studio and he would draw them when he was a child and so you know there's um, these Halloween costumes that are cowboys and Indians and um, some kind of general or these army army characters he also painted um, a black man who lived on um, on his property or on his um, sort of lot of land. They lived in a rural area where it was so expansive that he was allowed to run free wherever he wanted. The only rules was he wasn't allowed to cross to cross any streets because um the 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 streets circled you know encompassed such a big a territory that he would be able to go and run around and play and sort of be lost but still be within that little island and uh this this i think he's like a farm hand something like that he lived on on this big property and uh, um, he was his best friend so he painted him a bunch of times and um, there's also this haunting picture of the hook I don't think it's the same friend I, I thought it was but I think it, it might be somebody else that had a, a hook for a hand and he paints that hand on a that hook on a on a tree a dead tree that's uh like used as a bench and um he liked to paint from real life he told people don't you know pose for me don't uh remove something or leave something out because you think that i need to have it in my painting just continue on as you would do and I'll just uh, I'll just be able to determine what to do and uh, so I think this tradition of painting from life and uh, um, letting you know the spontaneity of of nature inspire you is a tradition that uh, well it dates a long time it, it predates him for sure but also is uh, has been impressed in the realist movements in America he was given uh, an award by um, I think it's like the highest of like hum highest award um, humanitarian award or something um, from the President of the United States and um, he just went back home to paint he uh, he started making a lot of money I think he came from from money um, they his ancestors all went to uh, I think it was Harvard um, they worked on the in the gardens um, but as like, uh, you know, high positions there. And, um, um, so he, uh, he, 
he anyways he made his way in the world and uh, became successful and his he he and his wife were given a house on that property but when he uh, became successful his wife moved away but he always kept his studio on that land um i think you know those are some of the key ideas that i wanted to share with you um the idea of war um the idea of some abstract elements um or expressionist abstract expressionist elements um the idea of um almost like something missing but um having um big areas uh that are in one one sort of uh compositional uh one part of the composition uh, like stark uh, stark uh, feelings and dark feelings the uh, the mood is very dark and uh, um very autumn autumny even yeah the trees are bare usually but um he said uh, he painted rural life he said if you think that I'm painting um flowers in a pot sort of painting you're not paying attention <laughs> So I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, thanks for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, uh, like, um, comment, uh, like, subscribe. Um, uh, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>